Search Baits 101. We are looking to hook up. That's what all fishermen want to do. The fish activity can sometimes tell you a lot. The bait activity, looking at the bait, seeing what the bait is doing. I sometimes fish water that's just deep enough, about two feet, where I see that redfish or I see that speckled trout, you know, pop or make a wake or their back comes out of the water for just a second when they're messing with that bait. But now I got to get over there to that activity and I have to find them because the water is just, just deep enough to where once they surface, they can go back down and I won't see them. The top of my list is going to be top waters, man. There's nothing better than a top water blow up. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> wow the retrieve on a top water is going to be a fast retrieve also i want that top water to walk side to side left right left right left right and i don't pause it i keep a steady fast retrieve on a top water lure unless one bumps it or pops at it then i'll give it a short pause followed by two short twitches and another short pause and at that moment he's either gonna eat it on those two twitches with the pause or he's not so if he doesn't I go ahead and start working that lure again at a steady retrieve and a lot of times they think that they injured that topwater lure or that mullet they think it's a mullet and whenever they think they injured it and you twitch it a few times and, and kind of do a an erratic retrieve for just a few seconds that will trigger a bite if it didn't trigger a bite then i go ahead and start working it again and sometimes they ch they chase it down on that fast retrieve again but when the top water bite doesn't seem to be happening then i'll go subsurface so the top water bite it usually if it's not happening i can still find the fish with the top water if i'm just covering water covering areas where the bait fish uh, are looking nervous and moving around the baits kind of flickering on the surface uh, the little mullet that's jumping you know all over the place randomly there's something chasing them so i know that the fish is right in that area so if the top water bite if they're not eating it if they're just popping at it and popping at it or swirling on it if they do that five or six times i'm gonna go subsurface because a lot of times the fish there's days when they're not willing to, to come all the way to the surface for a topwater lure. So I'm gonna go subsurface and my next favorite lure is gonna be the wake baits. The wake baits dive zero to one foot. Some of them only about six inches. And that six inches is just enough to get that fish to commit. He doesn't wanna go all the way on the surface for whatever reason. So he is more willing to hit a subsurface lure. Oh, oh, there you go. Golly, he knocked the heck out of it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen him. I seen his back. I seen his back come out for a second. Holy. Oh, baby Stia. Huh. I'm shaking like a little girl.
God dang it, man. God, it barely fit in the net, man. <laughs> the wake baits are easy, they're effective, you can cover a lot of water and the lure does all the work for you all you have to do is reel it in at a medium to fast retrieve and your rod tip will control the the depth of that lure even though it's only zero to one foot depending on how shallow you're fishing you may need to keep that rod tip higher to keep that wake bait from catching grass or bumping off the bottom so now we've tried the top waters, we've tried the wake baits, we know the fish are there, they're not committing to either one. So my third and favorite lure is gonna be the gold spoon. Plenty of different options to choose from. The silver spoon and, and the multicolored spoons will all catch fish. It's kind of a personal preference, but mine would be the gold. I generally throw half ounce, but on a real finicky day, you can definitely downsize to a quarter ounce spoon or even a one eighth ounce spoon. You're not gonna get quite the distance. You're gonna have to really get up close to those fish on the lighter spoons in order to reach them on a cast. Oh. Okay, never mind. The retrieve on the spoons is exactly like the weight baits. You're gonna reel them in medium to fast, just a steady retrieve, and your rod tip will control how deep that spoon goes or how shallow it goes. One of your most versatile lures is gonna be your soft plastic. I mostly use soft plastics when I'm sight fishing, when I'm for sure seeing the fish. Uh, fishing like six inches of water, those redfish are real shallow. I see their back just sticking out of the water or I see their tail for just a minute and those soft plastics are gonna be my favorite for, for really, really shallow. I start off with a topwater lure early in the morning. The, probably the first 30 minutes of daylight is gonna tell me whether they really wanna hit it or not. I prefer it to be cloudy conditions and a little bit of breeze, you know, eight or 10 miles an hour. Uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good topwater conditions. Also late in the evenings, topwater bite works too. But I used to stick with a topwater lure way too long and you know miss out on a lot of good opportunities. So I only spend about 30 minutes and then I'll go to the wake bait another 30 minutes and then I go to the spoon. If you're gonna fish a little later in the morning, then I would, me personally, I would just go straight to the spoon. That'll be your spring, summer, and fall patterns. Once we get into the winter time, we have to slow things down quite a bit and fish a little bit deeper water. So these lures that I mentioned is what I use in the warmer months. And then in the winter time, we'll get to that when we get to winter time. So in the fall, whenever that water temp is cooling down, sometimes the top water bite can just keep lasting and lasting. I don't spend a whole lot of time with one lure and I don't stay in one spot. I don't anchor, I'm just going through real slow, looking for activity and making some casts to that activity. So I do think it's really important to keep moving and keep covering water. And these search baits, 
is going to be the best way to do it. All of these lures are on my website, cleanfunfishing.com. I hope the tips were helpful. Thanks for watching and tight lines, y'all.